So here we are. Um, the flight we're going to do today is from Lima Papa Papa Sierra, which is Porto Santo um, in Portugal. Um, and we are going to fly a very short flight, it's about 58 kilometers, I believe, down to Lima Papa Mike Alpha, which is Madeira in Portugal. Um, it's well known that Madeira is one of the most interesting landings. So the scenario for this particular flight is that we're ferrying the aircraft to Madeira. Um, so we're going to take very little fuel, uh, probably 30% in each wing tank. Uh, it's only a 20 minute flight. That gives us plenty of uh, options for getting back into Porto Santo should we need to. So um, Porto Santo itself, it's a very long runway. Um, and what we will do, we'll do an instrument departure. From Porto Santo, which is here, um, we're going down just a short distance, as I said, just over 50 kilometers, down to to um, Lima Papa Mike Alpha Madeira itself, which is right on the coast on the island, um, via the Funchal Beacon, and I'll come into the come on to the um, instrument approach shortly. But this will be a Abusu 8 November departure, so it's runway um, 36, and we. Take off from runway 36, then it's almost an immediate left turn um, down um, on this uh, 031 radial from the Funchal Beacon, which is 122.2, and we proceed down there, straight down towards the Funchal, ready for the approach into Madeira. Um, as I said, we won't uh, we won't be in the air very long to, uh, for this video, so. We will not be going much above 3,000 feet, to be honest. So, looking at uh, Lima Papa Mike Alpha, um, I wouldn't bother with the uh, the stars, the standard in arrival chart, um, because, uh, as I said, we're just going straight down from Porto Santo down to Funchal. So, we'll look at the arrival, and we're going to use um, runway 05 for the instrument approach chart. And we're going to do the visual approach into runway 05. So, um, the Funchal beacon up here, so we make our way there. And then uh, from Funchal, uh, the 211 radial outbound from Funchal at 3.6 nautical miles. Um, that's when we should be able to see um, the uh, threshold of runway 23 here, uh, about 1.6 miles down our right hand side. Um, if we are visual and, and the weather's good, we will then continue. Um, normally, um, 1140 feet on the QNH, uh, 1000 feet QFE, um, so pretty low over the sea. And then at uh, 60 ME from the Funchal Beacon here, we then start a slow right turn, uh, so a rate one turn. And I'll be bringing the speed back here to about 160 knots, uh, too fast, and we'll go over the land. All of this grey shaded area here is uh, is not to be flown over. There's a lot of crosswind limits uh, because it is right on the coast so we're going to get a lot of um, coastal breezes coming in so we'll keep an eye on those. Uh, for the scenario I'm flying the weather will be good so that we can have a look at uh, Madeira itself. So pretty straightforward as I said 3.6 we, we commit or we don't commit if we can see the uh, the threshold of 2.3 uh, continue on then down to about um, 1140 feet normally here down to 900 feet QFE uh, Sorry QNH as we start the right hand turn um, There's a bunch of um, lights which guide you in here and they guide you in straight to the threshold of runway 05 And as I said about 160 knots, so that's the flight we're going to do um, And let's get started Okay, please start Jack Okay, cockpit voice recorder. On. Is on, thank you very much. Uh, cockpit preparation. Complete. It's all good. Lights test. Happy with that. All lights on sub support overhead and main. Okay. Oral warnings. Bye, blow. Oh, ah. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. Wind shear. We'll let that run through Hold whilst we up. check oxygen and interphone. Oxygen's on, normal. 
Too low, flat. Nothing displays. Also, we went through those. We've got from Shell on. We've got the ADM. And you can see that. We've got uh, the altimeters. We're on 240 feet decision altitude for the arrival. 300, 200, 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, no smoking and seat up lights. No problem. Thank you very much. Window heat if required. Window heat. All four on test. Okay, hydraulics are currently on uh, electrical hydraulics. Air conditioning, two packs please, on. Uh, two packs, no please, until we get uh, please from the engine to the APU. Pressurization. It's isolation, normal, open, sorry. Okay, autopilot check. Autopilot check. Checking one. Flight director. Flight director is on left seat. Okay. Cross check instruments. Uh, I've got two nine nine two two seventy feet. I've got one eight three track magnetic, and uh, everything appears normal. Forty five foot. Concur with all that. Auto brake. Auto brake rejected takeoff is set. Speed brake. Speed brake is on set and set down tested. Uh, parking brakes. Oh, parking brake is on. Okay. Stabilised trim switches. Oh, normal, normal. Fire warning. Check and arm, please. Main is checked. And the cargo hold is armed and tested. Rudder and aileron on trim. Set normal, set neutral. Gear pins. Removed. Clock. Clock, 1846, and stopwatch is tested, reset. And takeoff briefing. And we have done seat takeoff on way 36 in accordance with the flight briefing. And it will be to intercept the Funchal re uh, radial 031 in that Funchal, and then in accordance with the arrival chart for Madeira. Thank you. Okay, we start checklist. Papers. Papers. On board. Flight management computer, etc. Set 168 on the MCP. 168 is a V rotate plus 20. Heading up onto the runway heading shortly. 360, so it's 004, isn't it? On the chart. Uh, 3,000 foot is our cruise altitude, 0 3 one you've got set, I've got 2 one, one set for okay. the intercepting of the Funchal radio, uh, radio, all things are off on it. Okay, okay, fuel pumps. Fuel, fuel pumps will start the APU while you're doing that. And we'll put the left pumps on for the APU, pressure's rising, sorry, temperature's rising to 100. All pressure light out. Roger. Yeah, check. Okay, let's check doors and windows, please. Uh, all windows, mine's my lock in the descent. All doors are closed, all captions are clear. And the doors caption is on there if you look, and it's clear. Okay, air conditioning packs. Quite high, 840. Air con packs are on, no bleach yet until we get the APU. And EGT is dropping down to about 440, waiting for the generator light. Okay, and I will configure the external lights. Thank you. Okay, okay gen bus available for the APU, so APU generator is going on, and external power is coming off now. Okay. And disconnected, and pumps are on, and I don't have the yet. So we'll put the APU on now. Okay. Well, 
On that basis, we are clear for start. Roger. Clear for engine start. We've got an engine start checklist or not? Roger. And we're good to go. Air compacts are going off and ready to start. And we'll start number two first. Starting two. And two is rising. Oil temperature is rising. Oil quantity is sufficient. 17 vibration is in limits. Looking for 23%. 23% we have. And light up. Fuel flow is increasing. Pressure is rising. Temperature is rising. Quantity is dropping but still in limits. Vibration 0.3 which is standard. We're flashing light there which we need to put in the book. Good start number one. So in two starting one. And two is rising. Pressure is rising, temperature is stable, or quantity is sufficient, vibration in the mid. 23. 23%. Fuel flow. And lighter. EGT rising. Temperature is stable. Quantity is good, vibration in limits at 0.3, fuel flow rising, looking 56%, start off should close, 56, start off close, good start number one, and transferring now to engine, so, stand by, just going to tell the APU, I'll configure this if you want to, we have to start checklist things. Okay, electrical system, all generators on. All, all generators are on. Window heat is on, all four lights are tested. Probe heat. Probe heat. One, two, all lights out. Anti-icing if required. Not required. Hydraulic pumps. Hydraulic pumps are now all on, engine and electric. Okay, air conditioning. Is on, two packs, two, uh, two packs and two feet are on. Trim air on, please. Trim air is on. Pressurisation, isolation switch should be in auto. Right, isolation switch in auto and oh, three pound, three pound, Your damper on, please. Your damper is on. Light out. Okay. APU bleed is off and APU is off. APU is off and still waiting. Pressure's uh, sorry, the temperature's still up, but you've dropped out. Okay. Start lever should be in the idle detent. Idle detent. Ground equipment is removed and our shoulder harnesses are on. Okay, okay, we are cleared for taxi checklist when you're ready. Ready for taxi checklist. Okay, recall. Recall. Checking. Clear left, clear right. Flight controls. Flight controls. Flight nuts. Yep. All good and normal. Okay, flaps. Flaps. Set up five for takeoff. Flap gauge is moving. Lights are. Incoming correct, and flat five set. Mass control panel. FCP is on, and uh, we've been through that before, so it's all good. Trims. Trims are set plus four, and in three. Takeoff briefing. Let us see takeoff as we went through. Runway three six, backtrack, short backtrack. Line up, then we'll check the uh, uh, heading, rotate. And any emergencies before rotate, we'll uh, stop on the runway and handle them there. In the course of the flight reference cards, I have to take off after, sorry, after V2, sorry, after V1. We'll continue in the air and assess the emergency in the air. We've got Madeira as an alternate, which the runway we come back. Okay, have you received a cabin report? Yeah. Okay, and cockpit door is now going to locked. Roger. Taxi checklist complete. Roger, let's go. Ready. I'll go to strobe and steady. This is taxi lights going on. And it's a right hand turn. It's responding normally number one and two I want. Looking for the yellow line, it's a straight taxi with a short back track. So the right compass behaving normally. Yeah, checking the brakes. Yeah, brakes are fine. And there's one on the runway, but we have to lift the launch. Hold it. 
while we're here, we'll check recall. Okay, while we're here, we'll check recall. Recall. Start this. Okay. Start switches. Okay. 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 Taxi lights are fine, lights are on. So auto throttle will arm when we get to the end. Position light has gone to strobe and steady. And transponder. Transponder is on, it's walking 1200. Yeah, Brake testing, please, dear Roger. And gear check. And gear check. Well, the camera. You can't do. Really. No. Well, we like it. Only if you're on the airlines. <laughs> okay, I need that guy. Still not rolling. Here he goes. And. Tracking now down the runway, on my turn of flights. All coming on. Okay. It's getting better now, isn't it? Okay, back tracking at the runway. And heading with good Pacific yeah. 186. Oh, that's just on and on me. We are only waiting for clearance to take off and to park the water from here. Okay, we have clearance to take off. Throttle to go. Turn off lights going on. On the approach, we'll clear downwind. We don't want that, that guy moves downwind. Start switches. 
Oh, that's a flight. Landing gear is up, up so off. Flaps or uh, good at that. Just keep it on 90 knots. That right. one. Also brake. It's off. No smoking light is still. And also it's a set cross check. Well, we'll keep 2992 set cross check, 3020 feet. Roger. Well, the cruise and double nose, there's any cruise checks we need to do. Uh, lights. Lights are uh, remaining, land lights on. Uh, you can let them out if you want from the seats, up to you. Nah, uh, there's nothing there, just, well, we'll let the cabin come out. And cabin out to turn. Nothing more till we're Okay. 
air conditioning where we were go off. All lights are off, leaves off. Exterior lights were still uh, they can all off. All off. Uh, okay. Radios and inertial uh, off. off system. Okay. Inertial nerve. Off. Okay, and let's have a clean up of everything. Galley power. Off. Emergency exit lights. Uh, off. Aircon. Aircon is all off. So it displays to dim. All dim. And switch off APU. APU going off. What's going on? And clear for uh, battery disconnect. Roger. And yeah, we'll do that now. That's all off. 